The newest offering by the Manitoulin Brewing Company has arrived in the LCBO here in North Bay. So we're going to try it. Oh, what? You going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Bridal Veil Pale Ale by the Manitoulin Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. Pale Ale, generally a fan of the Pale Ale. Manitoulin, manitoulinbrewing.co, not com, dot co, is where you will find that. And you, we're on island time, apparently, while we drink this or something like that. I see I see ingredients right off the bat. That's nice to, nice to see. Like I said, Pale Ale, usually a fan. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. Uh, it's actually a relatively more more of a pale ale than I was expecting. Wow, it's even very clear. Usually, you, some pale ales are actually more like uh, IPA-ish in appearance, in my opinion. From what I've seen, not my opinion, just from what I've seen. As always, all the thanks in the wide world. Those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, she's pretty much crystal clear. Just the tiniest little bit of haze to it. No sediment to speak of. Not a whole lot of aroma coming off of there. A little bit of a hoppy slash malty overall smell to it. I don't know. Let's give her a shot. Oh. That is... Really nice. Just like full on hop and malts at the same time coming at you. And they mix really nicely together. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Almost kind of a creamy mouthfeel to it. Oh, yeah. One of those beers that has that kind of kind of refreshing quality to it. This would be really, 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 really nice on a hot summer's day. Very smooth. Very clean kind of beer. There was a sticker on it from the LCBO. I'm not sure why. In the heart of... Kagawong? There, there's some issues with your uh, your font there. I don't know if you can really see that the can thing was like put on wrong or something a little bit. In the heart of Kagawong, a charming village on Manitoulin Island, is the remarkable cascading Bridal Veil vale Falls. Brewed in small batches, our Bridal Veil vale Pale Ale is naturally unfiltered with a balanced malt finish and dry hopped with cascade hops. Take a dip and enjoy the experience. Hmm. We have a packaged on date of, I want to say, the 22nd of March. So, not old at all. I love seeing that. And ingredients are water, wheat malt, malt, hops, and yeast. Weird. Meat walt, meat walt. Yes, meat walt. Wow. Wheat malt and malt. I've not seen that before, I don't think, but I don't care. This is just delicious. I'm actually quite happy to say that it's been a while since I've had a beer that was like completely full on satanic to my taste buds. I'm trying to think if I have any in the fridge right now that I'm expecting to be scary, but. I don't think so. Spring slash summer arriving, I might try my hand at another rattler or two. I don't know if you can hear the random chirpy sounds in the background occasionally, but I actually have my window open because it's so nice, and there are birds. Damn birds ruining everything. Oh, 
Oh, but then you just take a drink of that and everything's okay again. All right, found on Rake Beer. No full scores, need more ratings. Uh, we got a 3.2 and a 2.3 from two people. Uh, this guy, one guy said, <laughs> Jesus, this is bland. Really? This is boring. I find it, it's not crazy insane, but it's it's got a really nice flavor profile overall. Like, what was the ABV on that? Almost invisible? Five. So, nothing crazy. Just a nice, really tasty pale ale. What the hell? Some people are just mean. Well, at the same time, me a year ago, I would have been really kind of not a fan of that, probably. You know. Simple refresh. Another guy here says, simple and refreshing pale ale that doesn't stand out from the crowd. It's kind of like run-of-the-mill. It's nothing nothing jumping out and being like, oh my god, it's so bloody delicious. But it is really tasty. I'd say, you know, it's 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 not below that good average line, if that's a thing that makes any sense. Beer Advocate, also no full score. Like I said, this is a relatively new beer. It hasn't been out for that long, I don't think. This actually has no ratings. It has one rating which I can't see. And then, oh wait, no, the, it would be the average if there's only one. So that person gave it 3.48. Oh no, no actual reviews though. And then if we go to untapped, we've got a 3.52. Same friggin' rating, really? Is it the same? No, 3.48, okay, sorry. Matt. Light, a little hoppy, easy patio beer. There you go, like I said, nice summer's day outside, yeah. It's a little hoppy. It's a little malty. It just both at the same time. Just really, really nice beer. Anybody else say anything about it? Excellent pale by this guy. Although they only gave it to four. Hoppy. A bit sour good. Uh, not so much. In my mouth's opinion. Decent beard base, but I think this needs some more hoppiness to be a pale ale. Nice take on a pale. A bit of a bite in the finish. Not bad. No, I... Yeah, it's, it, it's good. There's nothing bad at all in the flavor profile, according to my tongue actually check out the website see if maybe they do actually make any more than these two beers you need to update your website a little bit there mad Tulin brewing company according to this all you make is your swing bridge blonde and I am currently drinking something that is not. That's when, and, and you actually have every single LCBO listed where you can buy it. That, that's mildly insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's just all one big... You don't have even different pages on your website. It just scroll, scroll, scroll. That could have been done better. <laughs> and... Put, put this on there so people know it exists. Because it's pretty tasty. And people should try it. Drink number the last. Yeah. That lingering finish flavor is really nice. A big fan of that beer. Manitoulin Brewing Company, your Bridal Veil Pale Ale rating. Solid eight and a half. No marks coming off anything. Just really good beer. Nothing wrong with it at all. Go find some and try it. 
That's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos, and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you've got something to say to me. Put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Pretty unusual beer being tried tomorrow. It's a blueberry beer I've had before, blueberry beers. This one's 7.1%.